Hey folks, Steve here. How you doing? I do not normally shoot introductions to my video, but I thought I would introduce this one. Uh, a little while ago, I had a video that I posted, and it had to do with quickly just setting up a job site around my house, just a little bit about workflow. It was a very short video. And I also have a video coming up about job site, workflow, and all of that. But this is where I am set up at night, so just a little bit different, and it's in a different location. So that's all this video is. It's about you know just setting up a job site, workflow. It's very typical on how I'm going to have my tools very close. I think it's very typical of many people that are in the construction business and how they're going to set up their tools for effective workflow. So you know you're cutting, sanding, doing whatever. You got flat surfaces for assembly, and you're close to where you need to go to make the assembly happen or whatever you're doing, right? Uh, so this is no different, but it's just that. It's just hey, check this out. Set up workflow trailer all of that. So I hope you enjoy that. Now at the end of the video there's a little bit of bonus footage and that bonus footage is the fact that I happen to be that night working on this thing and I'll have a video all on this anyway that I it's kind of in the editing phase now but what I'll do is I will just attach like b-roll footage about I believe assembling cubby one here this is tool cubby one on um, tool two and three were built and they were in that video but I cut all of that out again a later video but there's a little bit of video of me in this space installing that so I thought you might enjoy that as well hey you all take care have a good one if you would like and subscribe down below I really really appreciate that you all take care have a good one hey just wanted to say that I'm out here it's like 9 30 at night I've got to wrap up because of noise and and everything because I'm working on a project of my own in my own backyard but this would be typical of me working on some job site, especially when the days are very short. Uh, it's, it's getting into fall now, so the days are short, but even shorter when we have snow on the ground, rain, I've got a pop-up tent because of inclement weather. And this would be indicative of my workshop because my workshop is almost always outside, especially for major things like table saw work, miter box work, all of that kind of stuff. So I will just walk that way into my yard, turn around and I'll show you my setup. This is indicative of my evening smart wood shop. So check this out. Here we go with Steve's evening wood shop. I have my pop-up tent set up. I have three work lights going, my big job site light and a couple of flashlights. Because the inside of that pop-up tent is silver, it does bounce a lot of light around. So that is actually very convenient and at least well thought out on the pop-up designer. And then I have my smart trailer. Uh, it is plugged into shore power, so I have lights. And I can go easily in and out and grab tools and put tools away as necessary. Right now, you see that box. Let's go, let's go back to it. So this box right here, what you see is basically it's a tool cubby. I am building a tool cubby. And this tool cubby will actually go in my walkout basement. That tool cubby will go in my walkout basement, and it's actually tool cubby one of the plans, and I already have built tool cubby two and three. I'm waiting to install them all, then I'll cut all the dividers to size, and I have to put a couple of stiffeners in in the front, and then I will build drawer bank two underneath. I'll build three of them, and so I'll have kind of like a mini trailer in my walkout basement for part of my wood shop. All right, y'all, well, I'm going to say take care, but there's just probably more to this video.
So any workbench that I build that, I, that goes underneath it, specifically that uh, drawer cubby system that I want to do, that I want this, like my floating shelves over here, I want this free and above the actual tabletop itself. So it'll just slide underneath. I don't want it tight. It doesn't need to be tight. And so I'm going to sticker this up three quarters. It pretty much looks like that over there, stickered up three quarters. It's close enough for what I need it to do. And so at this point, tighten everything up, check my screw placement to make sure I'm hitting the studs that I have tap con to my concrete. And if that's the case, drilling. Okay, next I have to uh, cut, next I have to drill tool cubby two for those two holes only on the bottom. This will get set over. Wires are hey folks, thank you very much for sticking with me. I appreciate you checking out that job site kind of set up at night. I really enjoy that workflow with the way the tools are set up. It just really lends itself to being able to get to everything very quickly. And setting up at night, always pretty cool as long as the weather's not too bad. Hey, and also uh, with that extra footage, hope you enjoyed that. That'll be with that tool cubby thing and that build out in my basement. That'll be its own video set, whether it's one video or a series of videos. It's in the editing phase now, but it's all shot and ready to go. Hope you take care. Have a good one. Thanks a lot. And thanks for liking and subscribing and appreciate it. You take care.